As you guys have seen on this channel, we have blown up guns before. This time, I think it's gonna go away. What happens if you put dead cord down the barrel of a gun? The Forbidden Twizzler. During our trip out here with Tread from Washington County Machine Guns, we're gonna be exploring some deck cord again. If you didn't see our episodes last year, do yourself a favor, go watch those. We did some really interesting stuff. We explored anywhere from 50 grain all the way up to, I think we hit 100 grain at one point. So today, we've got a really interesting <laughs> experiment, which is what happens if you put deck cord down the barrel of a firearm. Uh, I wasn't quite sure 50 grain was gonna do it, so Tread advised me to just braid three of them together to make 150 grain, and we're gonna force it down the barrel of this 12 gauge. If you remember when we wrapped deck cord around a body, it wasn't the most exciting thing in terms of damaging the body. Right. It was cool footage, but we're gonna one-up that. We're gonna wrap 400 grain around this torso right here. Should cut them in half, right? Oh, easily. Easily? Easily. Sweet. Easily. And again, we've got the t 7510 demoing that from Vision Research. So thanks again to them for sending that out. I think we're ready to wire stuff up. What do you think? I think so. I'm All right, good. let's get to it. Let's do it. All right, since we got the really fast cameras out and this gun's pretty much only purpose is for, well, this. <laughs> so we're gonna get some nice exquisite muzzle exits to at least put it to some good firearm use. And then this is going right down the barrel. Has this ever been done before? I don't know. I have never seen this. What we're hoping for is we'll get our pop. They should immediately sympathetically detonate and all three should start traveling. That's so cool. And I want like a banana peel. Yeah? But I don't know. There's a chance it just shatters into shrapnel. I, I know, which could also be cool. But what if it just balloons it to twice the size? That would be nuts. Then we could put 400 in. That'd be like some Looney Tunes, like when someone sticks their finger in a barrel. <laughs> yeah, we're shooting almost a million frames per second right now. Are we really? Yeah, we're like 900,000. Yeah, so this will be good. All right. Let's wire this up. Let's do it. Fire the hole! Three, two, one! All right, let's get some exposure from that shot. Okay, cameras are good. Fire in the hole! In three, two, one! Uh, I think we blew it like entirely apart. What is this? Is that the magazine? That's what used to be the magazine anyway. <gasps> it's just gone. So we have a um, Chevron stock for sale. Yeah. Or whatever this thing's That's called. a weapon. You could stab someone with that. Oh, it's your bullet. <laughs> it's the carrier. Yeah. We got that. We've got a trigger pack. Yeah. Call it a parts kit. I'm selling a 12 gauge parts kit. Yeah. Uh, if anybody's in the market, uh, there's some. <laughs> Is there any of the actual barrel or is it just the magazine tube? Here. Ooh, we got something. It's still pretty hot. Warning, read instruction and safety <laughs> manual before using firearm. Well, no wonder it blew up. I didn't read the manual. And then this looks like the part that, oh, no. that goes so on cool. that. Did everything else just go away? Kinda. I mean, we obviously didn't disintegrate it, but did we just blow it into like tiny little pieces? I don't know. There's high speed that'll tell us. Whatever math Tread does, we got to start halving it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I got to say is they don't make them like they used to. That's true. <laughs> this was like a $150 Walmart It was literally shotgun. the cheapest <laughs> shotgun we could get. That's kind of cool though. This is the magazine tube underneath the barrel. If you don't quite know what the pieces you're picking up are, you can easily find out at sdi.edu. If you want to get your start in gunsmithing, I love SDI, but you're not putting this one back together. sdi.edu, there'll be a link in the description below. We need to watch the high speed though, see what really happened. Yeah, 100%. Ready to see a shotgun go bye-bye? Oh, uh, 100%, yeah. I have a couple other ideas on how to do this, but when you're with Tread, you gotta throw deck cord in That's it. true. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. 
Whoa, look. So you know on the end of some shotguns, they have the vent holes right at the end of the barrel? Yeah. It's creating some. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think this one had it. No. It does now. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. It didn't banana peel, I'm sorry. It, there's no peel left. It converted the metal to gas. It vaporized the metal. I think no. 50 would have been fine. Maybe. <laughs> Look Holy. how fast that is. That almost looks like a muzzle exit. And then before you know it, it's already down here. This is almost a million frames per second. That's fast. While destroying guns is so much fun, there's also another part of being a firearm owner that is essential, and that is improving them, which is why Handle It Grips hooked us up with these awesome at-home DIY kits. These ones are the Edge Series, so these imitate stippling, which can be a cumbersome thing to get done, but not anymore with Handle It Grips. You're gonna be able to do it by yourself. I promise, I believe in you, you can do this. Honestly, I would recommend you do this for all of your EDCs, and even though they're already super affordable, they gave us a discount code to save you even more money. There'll be a link for it in the description below. Well, we've done this with a decapitation before. Right, with what, 50 grain or something? I, we think it was 100. Was it? I don't remember. So we've got 400, Good which is grief. as big as they make it. So this is either four or eight times more than before. Yep, and then Tread said one wrap of this on a tree about that big would blow the tree in half. And this is just gel. We have more because we have a larger circumference and then it's just on a mushy gel. It's three feet. So what do you think is going to happen? Three feet for, I think it's going to be a beautiful cut yeah. right through the entire do thing. Do you think the top half's going to launch into the air? Nah, I think it's just going to go bloop, bloop. Okay. I say it's going to come up just above the concrete barrier. Okay. Well, we have like one, two, three, four. We have like five cameras. <laughs> True. I definitely think it's going to cut it in half. I don't think the top's really going to go that high. I've been wrong on everything today, though. Well, we should find out fast because it's melting on this plate. It's also starting to get cloudy. Also, oh, yeah. we need yeah. to wait for more sun. Yeah, we got one big one. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get ready. Ready? Fire out the hole! Three, two, one! Oh, jeez, there was big chunks everywhere. <laughs> you should have seen the chunk that went over to them. He is gone! Oh, he's so done. Oh, it's everywhere. He's gone. It kind of looks like a flat cut right there though. What is this? That's one of the organs. <laughs> one of the organs. He goes right there. Wowzers. He's everywhere. I mean, his pieces are on everything. Yeah, I saw that piece come flying. Oh. And then from here, I saw one go flying over towards you guys. Did you see it? What'd you find, Tread? Oh no. <laughs> I about guarantee that's the one I saw going over there. Yeah? Shoulder? That's yeah, definitely that's a shoulder. shoulder. Okay. Wow. That probably went 100 feet. 100? At least. Wow. So no clean cut. <laughs> no. <He's, laughs> he was just crushed into oblivion. Yeah. I don't even remember what my wager was. Well, we were like, it's going to go two feet up, four feet up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's probably something in them trees. There is right there. There's some skin hanging. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, right there. Yep. <laughs> that's hilarious. Wow. It's like a fruit. <laughs> Look how... Look how red these branches are. <laughs> Between these heads and that, these things are coated. Well, thanks, Tread. That was yeah. good. I, I think that kind of wraps up this year's trip. So the lesson learned is 400 grain deck cord is it's not so far from No. The real lesson learned when we do this again next year, most likely, is whatever measurements you come up with, we're going to half them. 
<laughs> oh, mm, what? Oh my. That was not a clean cut by any means. No. Nope. This is 32,000 frames per second, and one frame later. Ignition, that, that. <laughs> no way. Look at all those lines. What a sweet shot. He also took a big compression from those over and over and back over. In. Whoa, that was crispy. Look at that texture though. That actually comes around at such a perfect pace that this is them colliding together. Oh, you're right. Because we saw I that was in trying there. to figure it yeah. out. I think that is them coming and slamming together. Also, the ignition point is bright, and then there's a little bit of a delay, and then it gets hot again. You see that? Yeah. That's cool. 400 grain is terrifying. This camera is badass. Uh, yeah. Thanks again to Vision Research, though, for letting us demo this camera. This unlocks another dimension, like from the 7-Eleven to this, new dimension. From this to that, yet another dimension. Yet another. Well, it's really fun for us to wrap deck cord around Ballistic Dummy Lab dummies, but our subscribers should be wrapping themselves in something a little bit more useful for the EDC, core. They have all of these belts. They also have tactical belts. They have sunglasses. So they actually just measure it for you. This is what your waist is going to be. They actually cut into this permeable material that they have on the back here. I mean, it's a borderline permanent thing. It's adjustable locking every quarter inch. It actually increases the adjustability of the belt by 800%. And one of the worst parts about an appendix carry is trying to sit down with it with that quick release buckle. You can give yourself the room that you need to sit down comfortably. And then when you stand up and we're back on the move. We have a link in the description below with a discount code so you can save a little bit of money and you can still carry super comfortably with core. Back to the video. Well, that's a wrap on year two here at Washington County Machine Guns, hanging out with Tread once again. Such a cool dude. Yeah. If you want to take some explosives classes or just come shoot a bunch of guns with your buddies for your bachelor party, this is the perfect spot for it here in Pennsylvania. Tread does nothing but destroy stuff and we love it. <laughs> this used to be a shotgun and this used to be most of a person. Yeah. So yeah, deck cord's fun stuff. Deck cord is so much fun. Drop your ideas below. What do you want us to destroy with deck cord? Because I think we're coming back. We got access to better cameras. There's typically some extra goodies and stuff over on our Patreon. Mm -hmm. Not everything makes it to the YouTube cut. Right. It all gets stuffed over there. It's ad-free, uncensored. Early. Early. And then there's also bunkerbranding.com. You can get some of this. Thanks for watching. Feel free to support us on Patreon to see stuff early. And we'll see you in the next mildly explosive episode. Jesus Christ, I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> okay.